Hi, Todd Barton here with The Walking Code. In this video, you can see I have a soccer ball in my hand, and that's because one of my subscribers, Cristobal, has asked me if I could apply the core techniques to kicking a soccer ball. So Cristobal, this is for you, shout out. I'm gonna try to apply the core techniques to kicking a soccer ball. Now I have to say, Cristobal, if you asked for this video because you were planning on trying out for a soccer team and you plan on using my advice, I can tell you, you're gonna need a miracle because I do not play soccer, I do not kick soccer balls, but for academic purposes, I'm going to try to apply the core techniques to kicking a soccer ball. So I practiced at home without a soccer ball, just going through the motions after watching a professional soccer player do a YouTube video on how to kick your soccer ball. I'm going to try to apply the core techniques to what I saw him do. So let me put the soccer ball down here. I do believe that the core techniques can be applied to most activities and by watching the professional soccer player kick the soccer ball, I was able to, I believe, extrapolate the core movements he was using to accomplish his task. Now, I am not a soccer player, so I don't have the strength that he has or the agility or the flexibility, but I'm going to apply my academic knowledge of the core techniques to kicking the soccer ball. Now, the first thing I noticed that he did was come from the side and kick the soccer ball in a straight line. When I've occasionally watched soccer, which I don't do very much, that's kind of what I noticed them do. They don't come from straight on, and that kind of helped me figure out which core technique he was using. So it requires a twisting action in order to get the body to come from this angle to kick the soccer ball in a straight line. So I'm not gonna go over the core techniques for just basic running, I have another video out on the channel on just running technique and the core techniques applied in running. So if you want to go back to that one, you can see just the basic run core techniques. But I'm going to start from the end of that last impulse from running to the core techniques used to turn the body and then kick the ball. Let's begin from the run. So let's say I'm running towards the ball where I'm setting up to kick a uh, extra point, as they call it, an extra point, uh, whatever they call it. I'm running this way. I'm going to jump and land, or I'm gonna run, do that final leap, land turning this way. So any impulse off the ground when you're going in a straight line to create a run or a jump off the ground is using the core techniques of push, so let's see, I'm coming, I'm jumping off of my right leg. So I'm using set, torsional rotation here, flexing this hip. I'm going to use push, and push is gonna extend my right hip with torsional rotation on the right. That's the start of the jump, and I change push to pulse by turning my upper torso towards the standing hip. So that is pulse. Push to pulse is how we get off the ground. Let me back up. Push to pulse is how I get off the ground. The landing is what I'm gonna to need to do differently to do the kick of the soccer ball. So, but the first part is push and pulse to get off the ground. From the run, I'm running, running, preparing myself with set, push and pulse to get off the ground. In order to turn to kick the soccer ball and land, what I'm gonna do is push again with my right hip extending, but this time my right hip is going to be the swing leg pushing. So extension of the swing leg and torsional rotation on the same side as the swing leg is push. So my upper body is gonna to turn to the left, my lower body is gonna to turn to the right towards my extending hip, and the hip is going to extend. That would be push. Now I'm gonna explain something different here that I haven't explained in any of the other walking code videos, and that's the concept of a twisting core technique. In Tai Chi and in walking, we don't do any twisting actions. We use a curving action of one side of the upper torso turning forward 
on a side at a time. Either my right side turns counterclockwise or my left side turns clockwise. There's a concept in the core techniques that I call a twisting action. So instead of push, I'm gonna do twist push. In a twisting core technique, I'm gonna turn forward on the active side and I'm also gonna use my upper back to turn in the same direction. So instead of just doing a turn, I'm doing a twist. So that involves upper torso rotation from the abdominal core and from the upper back. In this case, when I land from the jump, I'm using twist push. So the difference between push and twist push is just that I'm extending my hip, torsional rotation on this side, but I've added extension of my upper back muscles on the opposite side to get a twisting motion. That is what's gonna get me to land in front of the soccer ball and turn this jump into that action. I'm gonna jump and then twist. Twisting of the upper torso, extension of my right hip, lower torso is gonna turn back towards that right leg, helping extension of that leg. So push, pulse, push, sorry, push, pulse, twist, push. That twist push turns my foot in and lands. To kick the ball, what I'm gonna do from the twist pulse or twist push is set, meaning I'm gonna start flexing my right hip with torsional rotation. Sorry, I got the sun right in my eyes. I'm gonna start flexing my right hip with torsional rotation on the left. And then I'm going to do twist retreat. So flexing of my right hip and I'm gonna turn my upper torso and lower torso towards my flexing right hip and a twist retreat because I'm actually gonna turn my upper back backwards on this side. So I've got flexion of the right hip, lower torso and upper torso turning to the right and extension of my right upper back. That's twist retreat. So from the landing of twist push, I get set, twist retreat. That's gonna kick the ball with a flat or the top of my foot. So in retreat, we're always pointing the toe. Every example I've show of retreat, the active ankle is gonna plant our flex. And so I'm not gonna hit the ball with my toe, I'm gonna hit the ball with the top of the foot because it's gonna be in plantar flexion at the ankle joint. So in slow motion, set, push, pulse, twist, push. Sorry, hard to stop in midair. Twist, push, set, retreat. Okay, now I'm gonna kick the soccer ball and hope this works. And hopefully it goes in somewhat of a straight line. I think what you're gonna see is I'm gonna hook the ball to the left if I really don't get a good twist retreat. Retreat is that lower torso turning to the right. And since I haven't practiced this at all, the body motion is, uh, body memory is not in me. And so I may tend to keep my root here and kick this way. And you see how the leg is gonna arc in that direction. So if I hook the ball to the left, it means I'm probably using concordant rotation turning this way instead of that way. So that's something I would need to practice. So I think that was a pretty good shot. I kind of felt that twist retreat there. When I hooked the ball, I kind of felt like I was like that instead of like that. Now I gotta go get the ball. So I played the video back and realized I was probably a little too close to the camera. Let me move the ball a little bit further down. I also forgot the landing. So when this guy on YouTube did it, he did his kick and then he landed like that. And that landing is gonna be set. So I would do retreat and then flex my left hip and use torsional rotation and land. 
So I gotta practice doing the twist retreat landing. I think landing correctly is going to help with the follow through and make sure you're doing that core technique right. Because if you're doing this kind of turn, you're not going to be able to land correctly. So twist retreat set. I kick that kind of soft because there's a couple walking their dog and I don't want to hit them. Not bad. I think I got the twist retreat and the set landing and the ball went straight. S set, push, pulse, twist, push, set, twist, retreat, set. Now I'm going to try to kick this one a little harder. See if my practice makes a little better. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect. Not bad. So, Cristobal, I hope that helps. That, I think, is the core techniques for kicking a soccer ball, starting to the side, we're running at the ball, we have set, push, pulse gets us off the ground, twist, push, set, twist, retreat. Good luck at your soccer tryout. If you're using this video for that, you probably have no chance. But good luck anyway. Thanks for watching.